Good morning. It is the 10th of March and it's 8 a.m. GMT. And just on my prep, I have also included a few more pairs into my daily routine because I haven't had any trades for a couple of days and some of it's due simply because it was a bit exhausted. The market's a bit exhausted after the NFPs last week, but I also think I can add a few more in. Um, so I, to date, I now have the euro dollar, the euro yen, the pound dollar, the Swissy, the uh, dollar yen, and the Aussie dollar are my six pairs I'm looking at, which coincidentally is what my coach said I should be looking at. I should be looking at six, and I haven't been doing it. So trying to do what you're saying, Paul. Trying to do it. It's taken me a while. I know, lazy, but here we are. Um, okay, so started on the euro dollar on the 30 minutes and then drilled out so i sort of did box them up into the top down um prepping today um i just kind of like that i just kind of seem to get my bearings it doesn't mean that i'm not doing top down i end up on the higher time frames it's just um i like it on the i like to get my bearings on what price action is doing right now as well it's, i find it more informative i suppose um so euro dollar nearest supply level here nearest uh, demand level here nasty very close together no way you're going to get a three to one um so new pretty much that i don't want to be trading these levels the 30 minute throw it out to the four hour got this h4 supply level here N absolutely nothing below current price at the moment as you can see I mean, if you do that nothing there so um one supply level up here this might be all right this might offer an okay risk board ratio um, and that is by the way why i've only got my alert bits out there and then i've gone to the daily to get a long-term supply level and actually the weekly to get a long-term uh, demand level uh and it's just the nearest ones that i could see so nearest h4 supply level was that one and nearest nearest supply level and demand level on the 30 minute were here and here and i'm not interested in trading them did this across all the pairs euro dollar h4 supply what m30 supply m30 demand nearest levels brought to the h4 and nearest h4 nearest h4 level and then out to the daily and got supply and demand there then the same on the pound, starting on the 30 minutes. This is a bit nicer because at least the 30 minute levels this overlap the um, H4 levels. Uh, so supply, demand, supply, demand, and then draw that daily to get very clear supply and demand levels. And then going along to the Swissy, same drill. <laughs> supply demand don't like these this is why there's no alert bit to set around that set around them h4 got some supply sorry pardon me demand but uh, yeah and then finally the um supply demand levels on the daily here and here and going to the yen 30 minutes, supply and demand, don't like these because they're very close together, uh, um, but then 4 hour, clearly demand, but no supply yet, then drill to the daily, and we've got supply and demand again, and finally, the Aussie dollar on the 30 minutes, L don't mind these levels because they're wider apart and I can get a 3 to 1, supply, demand, um, haven't set an alert bit down there because it's already on it, uh, H4, Supply, do need to put one up there. Demand, and then out to the daily to get this level here, which is supply. And you can see that, I don't think I've ever got a demand level all the way down there. Thing is, I went to the weekly, and this seemed to be the nearest one here. where price is getting involved in but as you actually zoom in on that level to really have a look at what's going on 
really looks like price is actually taken out already. This is the low, and this is sort of the high. We can see that current price is actually below it. If I now go over to where we are, our current price action doesn't look too hot for it. It's been tested once, twice, three times minimum. Um, it could it bounce, yeah, it could, but um, you know that is like the four-hour level at the moment, and so that's the level I'd be more interested in trading it at. So yeah, so that's it. So um, that's my prep for today. Um, and I'll be updating later as usual. Okay, see you later guys.